And now coming on to the ring, in the red corner, he's a seasoned boxer, decorated prisons officer. Please welcome Rayton O'Quiri. Now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing in the blue corner, weighing in at 72.05 kilograms, 29 years of age, training at the Palpal Pal Gymnasium, coming all the way from Kampala, Uganda, with a record of six wins, two losses, and four draws. Please welcome Patrick Amate. <laughs> Introducing in the red corner, weighing in at 72.1 kilograms, 32 years of age, with a record, a professional record of three wins, zero losses, zero draws. He is a decorated constable of the Kenya Prison Service. He is the undisputed Aiba Africa welterweight champion formerly, and also formerly the Aiba semi-pro silver medalist. 
having beaten Andre Zarkov from Russia in the year 2015. Please, let's welcome Raito Okwiri! This bout is uh, commissioned by the Kenya Professional Boxing Commission, promoted by Afri Box Promotions, and proudly brought to you by Sport Pesa. And now, the referee, a decorated boxer, Vedo Okumu, will give the instructions to the boxers. And now the referee, Vedo Okumu, is ready to give the boxers instructions. I'll talk to you in the dressing room. This is an eight, middleweight fight. You know the rules? I'll talk to you in the dressing room. Protect yourself all the time. Obey my commands all the time. May the best boxer win. Steven Vedo Okumu, himself a former national champion in uh, the Kenya Boxing League, has issued the instructions for this fight. This is going to be an eight rounds middleweight fight. Rachel Okwiri is fighting Patrick Amote of Uganda. They both weighed in at 72.05, the other one 72.1. Rachel Okwiri is 72.1. The, um, the records are quite different, uh, Athenas. Amote has records of losing. He's lost 17 fights and won only one. Rayton doesn't have the experience, he's fought only two and has not lost any of them. What do you make of this fight? You see, uh, Okwiri is from amateur. He's an international boxer. Yes. So, what do you expect from him? And he was recently also at the Olympics. Yeah, and uh, he's yeah, the man who's boxed yeah. for the prison's uh, boxing side. And also, look at his style of boxing. He's got his right foot forward. It means he's boxing from the southpaw position. He's a that, southpaw. That just means that his right is the jabbing uh, hand and then the left is actually the killer punch. Now, it's very difficult sometimes to box uh, with someone like that because you don't understand what time he's gonna go in and how he's gonna go in. What do you think? Let me tell you, Bennett, with this fight with uh, with uh, Raito Nokwiri, they call him Boom Boom, his nickname. He's an experienced boxer from amateur. Now he's professional, and I'm telling you, he's going places. Well, I'll tell you something as well, Raito Nokwiri, Last uh, fought at the Olympics in 2016. He's 32 years of age. He was a silver medalist. He's done professional now. He's on the left of your screens at the moment. Uh, on the left of your screens at the moment. And he's a southpaw boxer. You don't find many of them, but it means that his left is the killer punch. And you don't know when he's going to release it. Most boxers expect that you will release the left. And so when you release the right, they think it's just a jab. But when it comes for you, it comes as a very hard punch on the right hand. You see, and that is expected to be what will devastate Amote, who's got uh, a record of uh, one win and 17 uh, uh, losses, and just uh, no draw in uh, his fighting career. Already, Amote is punishing, uh, is being punished by Reto Okwiri. A double right left, that all went in, almost heading into the canvas, and it seems to be taking in a lot of punches. This is Okwiri again, uh, all his punches landing. And almost bringing down uh, Amote. But there's no knockdown rule in this one. Amote suffering. It's a three round fight in uh, this uh, middleweight fight. That is going to last for eight rounds. One left that comes from uh, Amote. He's just down, but that doesn't count. There's no three knockdown rule. Unless he goes down three times in one round. Vero will give him a standing count. And he seems to be okay, seems to be ready. He's got to gasp for a little air here before he continues with the fight. But he's finding it a little bit hard to come from uh, the prison's officer. 
Looks like he's ready to go on. I don't think the, I don't think the fight will last the eight rounds. Well, Fedor says, box on. As we are playing the last few seconds of uh, the first round, a right left from uh, Rayton Aquini. And was almost going in on a left, uh, which is his killer punch. Again, Abbas insists. And uh, he's been sent to the corner. The first round would obviously belong to Rayton Aquini. Let Very me tell easily. you, th that's the boxing I was talking about. Now Aquini is showing what boxing is. He's working in every angle. He's got uh, all the punches. He can throw them. He can hit hard. He's a southpaw. He's, he's a softball boxer. He has got all the, the stamina, the knowledge, and he's an experienced fighter. I think he landed very heavy punches, and he was almost going to finish it off with the left one if uh, Amorte had not come up to at least defend himself with just that one punch that then spoiled the rhythm. But Rayton, obviously, is a heavy puncher. This one doesn't count because it's behind. Ducking out like that is a very dangerous thing, and Amorte suddenly found himself not throwing a direct jab towards Rayton, who's very, very steady, standing quite upright. I'm telling you, this fight would last the eight rounds. Round two. It's going to go to round two. The heavier of the punches are coming from Rayton O'Quiri of Kenya, a prison's officer with a 5'9 a height. Doesn't have too much of a experience in the professional ranks. He's had only two fights. And he said very nicely, he's more experienced, but I'm heavier and I will beat him up. You see, the ben fans in the auditorium already saw just shouting or quitting them. And more ben... resorting to holding at the moment. He's resorting to holding. Referee Mr. Steven Vedo Kumu says, keep your chin up, but he's also telling uh, Rachel Okwiri, don't push. So both in the neutral corner to start again. A left coming from Rayton, one right onto the face. Uh, that ducking is going to cost Amorte. If he doesn't keep his chin up, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. Another hard left from Aquiri. With Amorte missing, and Aquiri keeping him at bay. He's using his right to jab. His killer punch is the left. Uh, Steven Vero says, jab directly. Don't use the side of the gloves. Jab directly. A right from Okwiri. Another right. As Amorte tries to look for instances where he can throw in a punch, he's finding it a little bit difficult to find those openings. Well, Amorte missing it with uh, the right swing. He hasn't scored any points in my opinion. Goes in for a right, almost catches Okwiri. Again, sometimes boxers go in for just that lucky punch. Again, a left and a right. And the southpaw position is confusing Amorte. He goes down. He's on the canvas. It's all over. It's all over. That's the second knockdown. But the first one in the second round is getting the count. And Amorte seems like he's trying to get himself up. He's got his hand up. He's signaling that he can go on. The referee is asking him as well, can you box? And says, okay, back to the neutral corner. With 50 seconds of round two remaining. Okwiri, I think we'll go for the killer. He's uh, combining the punches very nicely. Right, left, right. And his right is his left is a killer punch. His right is equally devastating. Referee will tell him, keep your chin up. Don't go down. Uh, Mr. Vedo. Okumu with uh, other instructions here. And ben he will be lucky to go into the end of this round because uh, of just the time. He's already put himself at the corner. A very dangerous place when you've got an aggressive boxer like Rachel Okwiri. A right, left, right. All landing. Here's another right and another left. He's gone down onto the ropes. This will not go the full distance. The referee has I'll stopped stop the contest. The referee stops the contest and saves Amorte any further injuries in this middleweight fight. What a fight this one. What I, heavy I, blows coming from Okwiri. I was telling you this boy has got all the, all the qualities that he has in boxing. He can punch, he can move. 
That's why he stopped the fight in the second round. Well, right, left, and another right. And Amorte was going down. Had he come up, he was going to be finished with the right again. This will be a technical knockout because the referee has stopped the contest. Mr. Patrick Amorte from Uganda doesn't have a good record. He's got only one win and 17 losses. And now it adds another one to 18 losses. What heavy punches coming from Rayton O'Quinney. What a fight, Adonis. That's what you're expecting, a good fight. That's what I was expecting to see. Because O'Quinney is an experienced boxer from amateur. That's why I always uh, tell boxers, please, before you go professional, you have to get good experience from amateur. And that's, uh, that's why O'Quinney is that much. Let's talk about the heavy punches immediately after this, but we'll go back to the ring and hear what the ring announcer is saying. Because this fight has ended in a referee stop contest. Well, ladies and gentlemen, action was promised and action it is. It was a middleweight fight slated for eight rounds, pitting Patrick Amorte from Kampala, Uganda, versus the undisputed amateur Africa welterweight champion of the world, former Olympian, former Aiba semi pro silver medalist from Kenya, who is a decorated prisons officer, and the winner by TKO in the second round one minute and 45 seconds Rayton O'Quinney from Aquila. What, he, what makes it very good? What is it that he has, he has done that makes he, it very good? He has got the experience from amateur. That's why, you see, when an amateur boxer turns professional, definitely he's a good boxer. But he's got the power as well, and I think the power was going in very nicely. The fans here did love it, did love the power that uh, was coming with that fight, and uh, they're, they're probably uh, wishing to see a little bit more of that kind of fight in rings like this one. You see... So... Is this what you're expecting also of the next fight? That's what I'm expecting, even more than that, from Zarika. And here is uh, Yemi Mercado. She was warming up uh, much earlier on as well, Yemi Mercado. She's got a good record coming into this fight as well. And we will be expecting that uh, we will see some uh, fun here in uh, the fight, and that it might just go the distance as well. Although all boxers would like to end it early uh, in a championship fight, they don't want to take any chances today. That's true, but uh, it, it depends on, this, on, on, on boxers' fitness. Because when you're going to fight for a white title like this one, you have to be extremely fit.
to face the opponent. This girl weighed in at 55.8 uh, 55 kilograms at the weight. Zarika weighed at 55 10, 55.0. So just 0.8 of, uh, of, uh, of a kilogram with uh, uh, Yamilan. Really, it's within uh, the weight, the weight limit. It? It's in the, within the weight limit. What do you make of her? What do you make of her record as well? She's, she has got a good record. She's young. She can punch. But according to myself, Zarika can punch. Zarika can punch. You I just say that Yemi can punch. So do you mean Zarika can punch harder? Can punch harder. <laughs> you know, Ben Zao is my analyst here at uh, the ringside at the Kenya International Convention Center. He's a former Africa uh, super, super featherweight champion between 2003 and 2004. And he seems to think that uh, Zarika has got the heavier of the punches and Zarika will carry the night. Is that what you're saying? Let me tell you. From the world, from yesterday, when we were in the weighing, when we were checking the weights, I, I could see Zarika herself that.